Another way to get neutrons from the higher actinides is from the alpha N reaction. Remember that the most likely form of decay for these actinides is alpha decay. The range of these alpha particles in most actinide matrices is to the order of a few tens of micrometers. Some of these alphas can interact with the nucleus of the neighboring actinides in the matrix and produce neutrons. Unlike spontaneous or induced fission, there are no neutron multiplicity. Each neutron produced by an alpha N reaction is a singleton. This table gives the yields for alpha N reactions in various matrices. Because the range of the alpha is so short, the yield is sensitive to how the matrix is formed. Another thing we're interested in is how neutron sources can be produced. This table lists the common neutron sources, all of which are based on an alpha N reaction. As you can see here, beryllium is an all-time favorite as a target because it readily produces neutrons. Lithium, carbon, fluorine, and sodium will also work as alpha N targets. We see that the yields and the average energies mostly depend on the target material. These alpha N sources are even more dependent on geometry than the alpha N reaction with neighboring actinides. You have to get the alpha out of the actinide and into the target, and you only have tens of micrometers to work with. This graph gives you the measured neutron energy spectra from various alpha beryllium sources. It looks vaguely like a fission spectrum source in that very few neutrons are produced above 10 MeV. But in general, it's a much harder, meaning more energetic spectrum, than a fission spectrum, and the average neutron energies are well above 1 MeV. Another thing that happens with all these alpha decays is that the energy has to go somewhere. As we've seen, a very few of these alphas will produce a neutron through a nuclear interaction, so most of the energy from alpha decay shows up as heat. Plutonium-238 is so good at producing heat that it's used as the energy source for deep space missions, such as the Cassini mission. The other actinides listed here are less impressive, but it doesn't take much mass to produce enough heat that the infrared radiation can readily be detected.